short sitting is necessary for independent bed mobility. Begin by short sitting with your hands supporting you from behind. Then practice walking your hands forward to the edge of the bed and then back again until you can do this easily. Next, practice short sitting with one hand or even both hands in the air. The next step is to bring your legs onto the bed itself. Use your wrist to lift one leg up while resting on your other elbow. Once one foot is on the bed, do the same with the other foot, or you can attempt to do both at the same time. With both feet now on the bed, push them with your free hand to the center. Then rest on both elbows and walk on them until you can lie down. In order to return to a short sitting position from lying down, use both arms to follow these same steps in reverse. In order to return to a short sitting position from lying down, use both arms to roll over. Use one arm to push your supporting arm underneath you so that you can rest on one elbow. Then simply push your legs over the edge until you can short sit. Once short sitting, you can slide yourself across the bed without needing to lift yourself up. If you want to slide to the left, put your right hand close to your hip and the other a foot away from your left hip. Rotate with your head and shoulders in the opposite direction you want to go several times before your final thrust. The momentum will twist the rest of your body. Once you gain enough strength and balance, you can do the same exercise by lifting and rotating your body using your arms and shoulders. Transferring from one's wheelchair to a level surface independently is possible without the aid of a slide board or other forms of assistance. The first step is to slide yourself forward in the wheelchair. Take the foot closest to the bed off the footrest placing one hand on the level surface and the other close to your hip. Lean forward, then lift and pivot yourself onto the flat surface. To transfer back into the wheelchair, simply follow these same steps in reverse. Dressing can be done while short sitting without the use of finger function. First, Pull up one leg and cross it over the other. Next, pull one pant leg over the crossed leg. Please note, this can only be done when sufficient sitting balance has been achieved. Using your thumbs, pull the sock over the foot. You can also use your thumbs to hook part of the sock and drag it over your heel. Place the tip of your foot into the shoe, with one hand supporting the shoe and the other supporting your foot. Once both pant legs are on, pull them up past the knee using your wrists. Hooking your wrist under the appropriate leg, lift up the leg and roll over to your side. With your free hand, use your wrist to slowly pull up the pants. Then do the same with the other leg. Repeat this process until pants are fully on. Then in order to put on a t-shirt, use any available wrist function to pull the shirt over arms and down to your waist.